Welcome everybody to what's going to be a wild couple of days in Wales. Indeed, and we're doing it on the same bike, but they're actually very different. Yes, yeah, so with that, to the wilderness. So then, with a wild couple of days ahead of us, we're going to need some good old trail bikes. Now, thanks to Orbea, they've supplied us with the brand new Occam. And speaking of trail bikes, to some they're mile munching distance machines, and others they're trail slaying jump park weapons. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why Orbea have split the Occam into two further categories. You've got the Burley Long Travel Occam, as I have here, and you've got the Occam SL, which is the shorter travel, lighter weight version. is a trail bike. This is a 29er only, 150 rear suspension, 160 front suspension bike. And it's taking some cues from their Enduro bike, the Rallon, with the asymmetric strut and with the steep and deep ethos, which means that I can get a really long travel post in here, all the way slammed to the collar. Now, what's cool about this particular model, other than the long travel, is the fact that it has adjustable geometry. Now, they call this the Attitude Adjust, and it doesn't work like a conventional flip chip, which means you often have to undo bolts and dismantle your bike and flip it around and reassemble it. With the Attitude Adjust, all you have to do is loosen this bolt, shunt it into position and retighten it and you're good to go. And all that'll do is change your head angle from 64.5 degrees to 64 degrees, but it also drops the bottom bracket by nine millimeters. So this is gonna be a great bike for anyone who wants to be shredding the trails as well as riding Welsh trails like this. Anyway, let's see what Rich has to offer. Well, Anna, I think a trail bike's a little bit different. I think you should be able to have a nice, lightweight, all-day, comfy kind of bike. You can obviously hit a bit of bike park on, but you can also go out and enjoy the countryside, which is why I've gone for this, the SL model. Full 29er, but unlike the 150, 160 Anna's got, this is 140 mil front and rear, and it's made of their high modulus carbon frame, meaning they've managed to shave weight using a different layup in certain areas, but still obviously keep that stiffness and rigidity. Now, whilst my bike may not have adjustable geometry like Anna's, like the longer travel version, it does have Orbea's squid lock. So I can on the fly lock out my suspension as and when I want and unlock it when needed. And it also integrates the eyeline technology. So essentially the lockout for the rear shock runs in the top tube here and pops out nice and neat underneath there, just keeping that cable out of the way again. When it comes to numbers on the SL, well, it's a size large with a 490 reach, a seat angle of 78 degrees and a head angle of 65 and a half. Perfect numbers, I think, for slaying trails and munching miles. Right, come on, Rich. Day Ooh. one's all about the descent. I've got a 5K descent waiting for us. Let's go hit oh, okay. it. Okay, Let's go. right. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, blimey. Eager beaver. survived to tell the tale. That was a wild bit of downhill you I took know. us down. I know, I can't believe we made it out of the mist in one piece. I know, I know, <laughs> unbelievable. Look, 
that's day one in the books. I think we need to go get cleaned up, dried off, and warmed up because I have got a uh, I've got a pretty special day lined up for Ooh, us tomorrow. Okay. So uh, how yeah. about we get to the pub? Let's do it. To the pub. broken Anna and it's time for day two. We did your LT downhill smashing yesterday but it's time for a good old trail ride for the SL to shine wow. and I've got a banger of a route planned. All right, might be time for an attitude adjust back here. Right, well out with the Allen keys and then on with the ride I think. Well that was easy. <laughs> No, we've made it to uh, <laughs> to one of the tops, shall we say. This There's many nice. tops. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Welcome to Wales. It's beautiful, isn't it? So today, we're kind of doing my perception of trail riding. It's like getting out, exploring, backpack on, loads of gear, yeah, places you've never been kind of thing. Proper mountain biking. I, would, I, I think it is, yeah. This. Yeah, it's like... So today it's about a 25k leap. We got about 750 metres of climbing. And look, there's not a soul to be seen. So I think it's going to show the, the differences between the two bikes quite well, I think, in that sense. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this is definitely a different side to smashing down descents. Mm, as fun as that is. As fun as it is, I do forget how much I actually love this. Nice. This is great. Well, do Let's you know do what more. you're going to love? What? The next hill we got to smash <gasps> up. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Right, Anna. Yeah. I think it is time for some lunch and to chat bikes. And I've got a nice a little surprise for us as well. Oh. Because it's windy and cold. <laughs> right. Surprise? Yeah, surprise. What have you got? You're going to be absolutely stoked about this as well, I think. Squirreled away in the depths of my camelback, one has bought us. No! Tea and a burner. No! Yeah. I did not expect that. That there has go. gone beyond my know, expectations. Right? That is exciting. Isn't that good? Yeah. I thought it was good too. Nice one. Can't beat a mid-ride cuppa.
That might be a bit of wind about. Okay, Anna, as we sip our qu rapidly Brew. cooling brews, <laughs> I want to know what, what's your sort of thoughts on the bike so far? Because mine, obviously, the lightweight, the SL version, we're both riding almost the same spec bike, yeah. components wise, to, you know, drivetrains, things like that. But obviously, they're very different handling animals, right? They are, for sure. And even just flipping the attitude adjust on mine did give it a different character to what it was yesterday. Because um, I thought it was super capable on the like gnarly descent. It was really slippy, and I felt quite comfortable with it. Um, but then flipping it now just meant that it didn't affect the head angle that much, so it's still good on the descents and the rocks, but it just brings that seat tube much steeper. The bottom bracket popped up by like nine mil, so it's been nice to sort of pedal through the rocks. So it does feel like, I mean, I know we say it a lot, but it's nice to have a bike that can do two ends of the spectrum. Yeah, really. for sure. Um, but I am jealous of your super light frame. <laughs> well, that, <laughs> that, so that's right it. Right now so, on the climbs. <laughs> yeah, I know it's like, you know, we're climbing up there and I can see you bobbing away a little bit and I'm like, Squid lock, engage, <laughs> locked out. You know, slightly yeah. like quicker rolling, lighter tires and things like that. And um, you know, no bouncing around, lighter build all together. And I'm like, come on, Anna, <laughs> come on, you got it. So yeah. like, you know, yeah, it's interesting to see that that the same bike can actually be on both ends of the spectrum, but. There's, there's neither a right nor wrong, I think, on either of them. No, and it reminds me how there's even a spectrum, even in the word trail biking, yeah. because to one person, it's smashing the trail centers, to the others, it's this. It's out in the heather, taking in the views. And I've got to say, I appreciate you bringing me here because it's been a long time since I've done a proper loop, and this is this is trail biking as much as a trail center is. Uh, it is, isn't it? It, <laughs> is. it? it reminds you what mountain biking still is, that you know these kinds of bikes can get you out into the... Well, the ass end of nowhere, really, because we haven't seen anyone, anyone all day. But with that, I think we better sort of finish up. All right, let's do it. Okay. Well, I need to eat all this. So. I've got more cake than much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go back down there. <laughs> We are all done. What did you think of the big old ride I took us on today? Ah, uh, that was proper mountain biking, wasn't it? It was good, yeah. getting out in the wilderness. Yeah, I, I think I need to get out of the trail centers more. I, I think it reminds me that even trail biking is quite a spectrum, isn't it? Yeah, just under that heading alone. It just goes to show that although the bikes might be same, same, they're different. Yeah. You, know, you can still have that option of a long, longer travel or lighter weight and still kind of do the same thing potentially, maybe just tailor yeah. it to what what feels for you? Yeah, trail centre or big old classic mountain biking mm. loop. But what do you guys think? What is your idea of trail riding? And would you choose a long travel Occam for it? Or would you go for the light short travel Occam SL? Let us know down in the comments below. But from us for now, we're going to go get a cup of tea again and warm up. So we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. Oh, cup of See tea. Ya. Yay.